Hello, today I am going to be reviewing Supporting Vulnerable Children in the Early Years. Uh, this is edited by Pat Beckley. I'll put some info about her on the screen now. Um, she's the editor. The chapters are written by a wide variety of different people working in the field. Several of the chapters are actually written by Pat herself. Uh, those, I would argue, are possibly the best chapters um, but I don't know, that's just my point of view. I think they're the most practical and kind of down to earth and stuff. But the book's good, I like it. Spoiler alert. Okay, so um, it's basically, what is it? It's basically kind of a summary of the research to date and what we understand at the moment about supporting vulnerable kids um, in the earlier years. Okay, so let's have a look at the contents now. So you can see that like we're covering quite a wide range of um, different issues, things like inequality, poverty, the attainment gap, um, and you'll also see that the authors are um, quite wide ranging again as well in their sort of expertise. Um, so it's, it's interesting and um, the book looks both to kind of summarise the research and our understanding of the problems um, but also throughout the book there are lots and lots of practical suggestions about what we working on the front line with children might be able to do in order to uh, enable them to cope and thrive. So th it, it was a bit harder than normal for me to decide what to show you to highlight because it's not really a book where there's kind of pretty stuff to be honest, it's quite dense um, and quite research heavy, um, but I'll try and give you a bit of a feel for what it's like. So basically, this feels like a sort of book for like cle clever people, or you'll feel like a clever people when you've read it. So um, yeah, it's 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 kind of more sort of serious and yeah, longer and academic, I guess, in its tone. That said, I don't think it's um, it's not unreadable. Like, I don't mean to imply that in any way. I just tend to go with lighter, easier reads, that's all. Um, and this isn't, uh, it's not an easy read. There's a lot of information in here and you probably want to read it more than once to really get the most from it. But it is completely, like, if you work with children and young people, you'll be reading this going, oh, yes, okay, I get that. Okay, I can try that. So, yeah, don't, don't be, like, off-put uh, by the fact that it's fairly dense but just know there's a lot in here and it would take quite some reading um but you could dip in and out because it's really clear like each chapter stands alone um so you could just dip into the chapters that were yeah most relevant to you okay so the first page um i wanted to um show you um so pages 100 to 101 um and here um i think i liked this bit and just wanted to highlight this for you you can pause and have a like proper read if you want to get a bit of a feel for it but um this was thinking about you know school staff and poverty and what schools can do to help um and that kind of thing and I thought that this nicely showed that although this is quite a research heavy book that it's not just awareness raising it's also thinking about practical steps that we can take um, which I think is important because sometimes we you know particularly in this field at the moment there's lots of stuff around like adverse childhood experiences and we've become quite aware of them and the problems but we don't necessarily know okay so what what can I do and and there are ideas in here um, Okay, next page I wanted to highlight for you was 115. So I wanted to show you this page uh, because this shows one of the little reflections boxes and we get these throughout the book and I really like them. These are moments that make you stop and pause in your reading and have a think about how you can apply this. Um, maybe also reflect on your good practice that you're doing at the moment and then thinking about how you can expand on that as well. Um, so I really like this and these are the kind of things that if you wanted to use this book um, with colleagues, you could reflect on these things together um, also so I really liked these and as I say they're throughout the book so that's that's good okay so then um, page 195 um, I have highlighted this page because it's a case study and I wanted to make you aware that throughout the book um, this is illustrated with case studies which I think really helps to bring it alive um, and helps us to think about how we can apply what we're learning and to really understand um, the, the sorts of things we're actually looking at here um, and for me the case studies did all feel kind of real so sometimes in these books the case studies feel a little bit contrived um, but no, in, in this book generally I found the case studies to feel like real kids that we could all identify with, um, which again made it a much more practical uh, read. Uh, and then 119... 
<laughs> okay, so page 119 I've wrote down to highlight. Uh, this is just showing you a chapter end, showing this is a proper grown-up book with like references and suggestions for further reading, um, which is, I know, like a pretty common thing in many books, but not always in the sorts of books that I'm uh, recommending, which can often be a bit lighter and quicker and easier to read. Um, so you can kind of see like the context in which this is set, the, the research it's drawing on, um, and also that there are some great recommendations for further reading if you want to do even more reading. So yeah, gives you a bit of an idea. Okay, so what are the th what are the three things that I most like about this book? Number one, it engages a wide range of expert voices and it draws on the latest evidence. Uh, number two is that it provides suggested ways forwards as well as just stating the problem. Uh, and uh, number three, I think, is that it's really comprehensive um, and it feels like a really good overview of this kind of emerging and rapidly evolving uh, area of research and understanding. So a kind of really good go to if you want a good introduction um, on where we are at the moment. So, yeah, would recommend it. Uh, I hope it was helpful. Do let me know if there are books or resources you would like me to review in future videos by leaving a comment below. Um, and please do subscribe so that you'll be kept up to date with my latest videos which are released every Tuesday and Friday. See you next time, bye!